Most of the OEMs in their pre IEC 6150 era has built their intelligent electronic devices with their own proprietary protocols or the legacy protocols which are existing those days. So one of the challenges or the major challenge that we, we feel is integrating this multi-vendor, multi-protocol IEDs to a common master station system. And if you walk into any substations across the globe, you will see products from ABB, Siemens, Ariva or GE. And these products protection or the weight control units have its own proprietary protocol or legacy protocols like SPA. ABB for that matter has, was using SPA protocols and Alstom or Ariva was using courier protocol. Schweitzer had its own cell protocol and GE was using BNP3 protocol or Siemens was using VDWW protocol. So the to monitor this system all these different IEDs from a common system, one needs to deploy a data concentrator unit or a gateway which shall support or which shall collect this data in their respective protocol like ABB relay has to be integrated in a SPA protocol. So the data concentrator needs to have a support for a SPA protocol or an IEC 103 protocol or a DNP3 protocol. And the disturbance records or the, they are stored in a, another file format or a different native format. So there has to be a driver in the data concentrator which shall collect the disturbance records in their native formats. So the, this data then collected, thus collected, needs to be converted at this data concentrator to a common data format before sending it across to the remote master station. So that the people in their master session need not have to know what type, make, versions of the products are deployed in these substations. So this becomes easier and this is the only way one can do it. So the challenge is to build a data concentrator unit with these capabilities. <laughs> The objective of the system is to enhance the operational efficiency. So the system deployed shall fetch not only the SCADA data but also the IED configuration and setting data and the disturbance recording and even logging data from the IEDs. This disturbance recording or the setting data are normally stored in the their own data format the vendor's own data format. So the DCU or the gateway shall have the capability to collect this data in their native format and convert them into a common data format before sending across to the remote monitoring stations. And this is how we normally collect the disturbance or setting data. And the setting or configuration files can be sent across over a transparent channel. We have multiple scenarios if you walk across various substations in the globe. You, you will see many sessions are automated and some of the stations are not automated. Even the automated stations, you will see multiple technologies. Some of them are based on six, IEC 61850 and some of them are based on non-IEC 61850. So the substations which are not automated, what we need to do is we need to collect not only the protection data but also the 
status and other data existing in the substations. So what we normally do in such cases is, in addition to a providing a substation remote monitoring gateway or a DCU, we also provide a bare level gateways to fetch the data from these control and relay panels which are provided in the substations. And also we provide an, a substation controller to collect the status and the other station auxiliary data to, to send it across to the remote monitoring stations. Yes, it is possible, very much possible to control and monitor multiple stations from a single station. What we normally, the practice or the philosophy followed is either couple of stations in the same vicinity or the same areas of the same voltage levels will be monitored or controlled from one of the peer stations. The second scenario is a hierarchy based monitoring or remote operations. That is a, a, the high voltage substations coming under a typical extra high voltage stations will be all monitored from the extra high voltage substations. So this way we could have a two philosophies to monitor multiple substations and by one single monitoring stations. Yes, one of the critical component in the system is the ID or protection management system. Power system network across the globe is becoming more complex because the transmission network are getting more and more interconnected. So the systems are becoming more and more vulnerable for disturbances. So it is becoming all the more important to have a central system to automatically retrieve or collect the disturbances when as and when it happens. With the increased deployment of IEDs across the power system network, one of the challenges the protection engineers face is the engineering or configuration and setting files storing of this at a central place because for any modifications or any substations when the new base get added these as built engineering drawing engineering drawings or the configuration details are required so if these things are stored at a central place it is all the more easier for the people or the engineering people to do this modification uh, at that time very easily. So this ID or the protection management system helps in storing or archiving this engineering and configuration and setting files at a central system. Yes, Skullkick Tech has over a period of time designed and developed a complete system for both ID and protection management and also the remote monitoring of the substations with both its hardwares and softwares. And currently, Calcutech is deploying a very large system in one of covering all the high voltage substation in India for the National Utility Power Grid Corporation of India. And we are also carrying out similar projects along with our system integrators or OEM partners across the globe mainly in Europe and Americas.